Are there Easter eggs in the finals? Yes, we're finding more and more in-game, but there's also been a complex alternate reality game with puzzles and passwords to solve in the finals Discord since September 2022 that the community's Easter egg hunters have made further progress with. Let me give you an update about where we've got to with solving that puzzle. Get a rock and here! If you jumped into the finals for the first time following the game's launch at the Game Awards or even if you started playing in the open beta, you might not be aware that there's been an alternate reality game or ARG that's packed with Easter egg style clues and has now been running for well over 12 months. Now previously with these Easter egg update videos, I've gone into massive amounts of detail about all the little clues we found for the ARG, what we thought those clues meant and how we eventually solved the password for each tier. In fact, over the last week, I haven't put a single other video out because I put them all aside to work on making an Easter egg update video exactly like that and I even dived in to help the other Easter egg hunters in the finals community try to solve the current password for the ARG. And I ended up with a completed script and a voiceover for a super detailed video over 30 minutes long. Then just as I was about to start editing all that footage, I listened to it and suddenly came to the realisation that it was way too detailed and I can tell you right now that it wasn't even going to be close to being fun to make. It's been a solid week of me working on something that I know most of the finals community aren't interested in and it's taken me away from making videos for you about the actual game and that stopped me doing what I love the most which is helping you to enjoy the game. So Firstly, that all kind of sucks, but to be fair, all this has made me realise I want to change the way I approach making my videos completely. I'm going to aim to have much more interesting content for you and at the same time make the videos less weighed down with too much detail. So now what? Well, I'm still going to update you on the Easter egg puzzles, but the videos are going to be more of an overall summary. This video is going to provide you with a short update about the ARG, showing you the images that contain the clues, detail only a couple of the clues, and explain how we worked out the passwords for each part of the puzzle. If you're eager for more info than that, then rather than me providing it in a video, I reckon you're actually better off just joining the Easter egg hunters in the finals discord by diving right in, learning from us all, and helping us to solve the puzzles. Before you do that though, I do highly recommend you watch the video linked above, which is my detailed beginner's guide to the alternate reality game Easter egg puzzles. And in a follow-up video, I'm going to show you all the new Easter eggs that we've found in game. Okay, with that aside, let's get into it. Since my last update about the alternate reality game puzzles back in September last year, we've solved three more parts of the puzzle. Usually I'd create one update video for each part of the puzzle, but I'm a little behind on these updates because, well, the finals launched and as I said I prefer to make videos about the game instead which again is why I'm changing things for these updates. We are now on the ninth and final tier of level two of the entire puzzle and I think we're getting close to solving it. If you want to catch up on all the parts of the ARG we've solved so far I have a complete playlist on my channel for all of those easter egg update videos. Anyhow tier 1F of level two kicked off on July the 4th around two weeks after the end of the second closed beta for the the finals and a day after the end of the closed alpha for Embark Studio's second game Arc Raiders. The tier began when Embark co-founder, chief content officer, executive producer for the finals and the mastermind behind all of these easter eggs, Rob Runison, posted this image named Couple which was packed with clues. Mainly though, note the obvious importance of the colour yellow. Four days later, this infographic with loads of stats from the second closed beta for the finals was posted in the game announcement announcement channel of the finals discord. It had some clues hidden on the clipboard that's been held by the game's eggy mascot Namatama. A day after the infographic, this image of an AK-47 sniper rifle and M60 titled Guns and Namas was dropped. The image was a mixed bag of clues, many of which just confused us. But again, note yellow as a dominant colour in the image. Another week or so later we had this ghoulish green image titled Shush, an interesting change of colour until a clue in the image gave us a hint that we should add the colour red to the image and 
Hello Yellow. We then had to wait almost three weeks for the next image which had, you guessed it, a strong theme of yellow and was titled Never Odd or Even. Clues appeared pretty quickly out of this image including a clue that pointed to Latin so we knew that language might be important in the solution. Just over a couple of weeks after the Never Odd or Even image we got our first Namatama image. For the newbies these Namatama images are usually provided if we're struggling with working out particular clues. That happens a lot so we've been given them for every tier so far. They sometimes offer quite direct clues but not always. The first Namatama image for this tier was titled 1YA for the one year anniversary of the first trailer of the finals. And about three weeks after the one year anniversary Namatama we got this cute Namatama who we pretty quickly worked out was styled in the likeness of Buckminster Fuller who was an American architect, systems theorist, writer, designer, inventor, philosopher and futurist. There are two main clues in this image that were key in us working out the final password. Firstly the architectural plans show an egg with the yolk being a central part and numbers on the bottom corner of the plans were deciphered to spell speculo epsilon backwards with speculo being Latin for mirror so this was interpreted as mirror E. About an hour later the password was resolved by Discord members Fish, Flex4D and Romania Games as Vitalis which is Latin for for the word yoke with the E replaced by a 3 which confirmed the mirror E clue. Tier 1F took us 76 days to solve and the next two simultaneous parts of Tier 2 of the puzzle kicked off immediately. Rob later told us that Tier 1F had a total of 87 clues pointing to yellow, yoke, mirrored or flipped, Latin and the number 3. And apparently there are 5 clues in those images hinting at future maps for the game that none of us worked out as well as 2 clues for diamond clues which can lead us to the very last level of the entire easter egg puzzle so there's still plenty waiting in those images if you want to dive back into them. Tier 2 was different from a lot of the other tiers because firstly on the password page it was shown that we'd complete the two parts of the puzzle together and there were a lot fewer clues in the images provided and just a lot fewer images altogether. For about a month the main images we had were only these loading and ready gifts and that was pretty much it. The most information we got for this tier was actually from comments from Rob Runison in the Discord such as this gif of a Commodore 64 starting screen. There were also a bunch of comments from Rob that referred to time in some way and given that the password for these two parts of the puzzle don't seem related to time these were strange references so maybe they hint at future parts of the puzzle. Eventually we got two rendered images similar to the previous ones they only appeared to have one clue each though one of which showed us a slightly modified G6 guitar chord which we'd learned was significant. Five days later this image appeared in the game updates channel when the Halloween update dropped during the open beta. The modified name Spooky for the image seems to hint at it being a cipher but we haven't deciphered it. And lastly a few days after the open beta ended in early November Embark Studios posted this little thank you video on Twitter. Frame 663 of the video has this binary code distorted across the image which deciphers to G equals 6 similar to the earlier guitar chord clue. We also had a lot of supplementary clues from Rob during this period including a photo where other members of the Embark team were pointing out that a white rabbit that was discovered on the soul map was still present. However the real clue in this image was that the G and 6 keys on the keyboard on the desk had been swapped around. Anyhow on November 17th a couple of weeks after the final image was provided Easter Egg Hunters, Fan Club FM and Arcade solved the password for tier 2 ABC as Veold which is the word gold with the G replaced with a 6 then the 6 converted to Roman numerals and Hunter Len solved the password for tier 2DEF as EVV which is the word egg with the same conversion for the letter G. So how did we get to those two answers? Tier 2ABC was a tier that actually connected to the answers of tier 1A, tier 1B and tier 1C. Individually they relate to separate things but together they were all related to gold. Tier 1A's password was 1064, the melting point of gold in degrees Celsius. Tier 1B's was 79 in Roman numerals which is the atomic number of gold and Tier 1C's password was the electron configuration for the element Mendelevium which you might think could relate to gold from a chemistry point of view somehow but instead within the sequence of numbers and letters is 137S which can be viewed as 
37.5, and that's what's known as the golden angle. The golden angle is the angle you get when you section a circle according to the golden ratio. So that's how we worked out tier 2 ABC was a modification of the word gold with the G converted to 6 and then converted again to Roman numerals to give V old. Similarly, tier 2 DEF's answer related to the answers for tier 1 D, E and F, which are more obviously all related to eggs, with OV form being the shape of an egg, CaCO3 being calcium carbonate from the egg's shell, and vitalis being the Latin word for egg yolk. So tier 2 DEF's answer was the word egg, with the G's converted to Roman sixes. Tier 2 took 56 days to solve, and putting that into perspective, here's a graph showing you the number of days each part of the puzzle has taken us to solve so far. We had a period where we were well up over 90 days per part of the puzzle, but we've improved a bit lately. And now we're on tier 3 and have been for over 50 days. The clues for this tier seem simple. Two question marks, a gold one named Quess and a white one named Shin. So question. And that's it, aside from some hints and confirmations from Rob. Now what do I mean by confirmations from Rob? So if you're new to the Easter egg hunt, when we interpret a clue correctly, Rob Brunison will usually give us the looking eyes emoji beneath our interpretation in the Discord to confirm to us that we're correct or at least on the right path. This helps to keep us investigating correct paths rather than not knowing if we're on the right path or not, which could add weeks or even months to how long it takes to solve a password if we're able to solve it at all. It also means that we don't keep investigating incorrect paths for a long time because when Rob comes into the Discord channel and gives us some confirmations, we pretty much know that anything we deciphered that doesn't get confirmed is either wrong or at best incomplete. Now Rob actually said back in December 2022 that when it comes to the final level of the puzzle we are on our own but these confirmations are what he's been doing for now and it's super helpful and we're thankful for them. So he gave us a confirmation when I asked the question what is gold egg? Also in the first patch notes after the game had released, that's patch notes 1.2.0, there are seemingly random letters throughout the notes that are in bold. Together they can be used to spell the words golden egg, again looping us back to all the previous tiers and the most recent answers. And that's pretty much where we're at right now. We have gold or golden and egg from previous tiers, and then we have a cryptic hint from Rob that said, no, it's actually not that hard, Hamlet equals Ophelia equals 5 truths, there are five things that have been true through this entire level, combine them and you have the password. Notice even in this supplementary clue he has letters missing or letters replaced in words telling us something about the likely answer maybe having the same things too. When Rob talks about the five truths or themes that thread through all of level two so far, we think we have some of these, gold or golden and egg and Latin, but we're unsure about the remaining two and that's kind of where we're stuck at for the final tier of level 2. If you're keen to help us solve the final part of level 2, now's the time to jump into the Discord because we can use your ideas. Anyhow, in the next Easter egg video I'll show you some interesting things that we've found in game, including some curious things about weapon skins. Thanks for watching this video to the end, do the usual YouTube business if you want to see more videos from me from now on, give a like or comment as you see fit and enjoy the rest of your day. Kia kaha, stay strong. Everybody knows the world ain't right Down on your knees, get up and fight